Hey guys, in this video, we will be checking out my top gear of the year. This is not gear that came out this year necessarily, but the stuff I used and utilized the most as a gigging working guitar player in Utah. So let's do this. All right, item number one is the Marshall DSL 40. And this amp I played through probably the most this year at a lot of gigs. It really just got the job done and did the thing it needed to do, which is I wanted to hear myself really well on stage. And this amp was the ticket to that. I did change out the speaker this year to a Celestin Vintage 30. And there's a lot of stuff I did with this amp to dial it in and make it sound how I wanted to. And a lot of times I was running uh, another product we're going to go over in this video to front of house. And this was just my stage volume amp. Anyway, guys, check this out. These are great little combo amps from Marshall, the DSL series of amps. And I think the new one, or I think there's a DSL 40 CR, which is a new one. Check that one out. All right, number two this year of one of my favorite products that I used a lot and utilized was the Vega Trim um, Tremolo system, which you can do the you can do uh, dive bombs and the thing stays in tune and it's just very dynamic of a tremolo. If you guys haven't seen a Vega Trim yet, check these out. This is number two. Number three this year of gear I utilized the most was the Strymon Iridium. This pedal is awesome. It basically has uh, all the amp modeling and IR capability you want to do your live shows and run to front of house. And in fact, one of the things I did this year was I used my Marshall amp and I ran this to front of house crazy about these modeling pedals is I had this thing set to the Fender amp style tone uh, and I ran it into my Marshall still and the sound coming out of the Marshall still sounded amazing. It actually sounded, the IR going directly into my Marshall sounded better than if I just ran regular pedals straight into my Marshall. It cleaned everything up, it smoothed everything out, it made the Marshall sound silky smooth. So if you guys are looking for kind of that solution for live or even for recording, check out the Iridium. It's not something new. It's been around for a long time, but I utilized it a ton this year for gigs. All right, number three, not a new item by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but played it a ton this year and uh, was one of my favorite items gear wise that I've probably I've ever owned, but also sounds amazing live. And I'm talking about the Richie Kotzen signature Telecaster. It's made in Japan and just an awesome guitar. If you guys have not checked this out and you're in the market for a new Tele, this is just a rock soul blues masterpiece of a guitar. So check this thing out. Uh, I don't regret getting this for one second. All right, guys, number five is a new product that came out this year and it is the Soldano SLO amp ped pedal. And the reason I love this one is because it really is very amp-like. It does all the things you want an amp to do. And does it sound exactly like a Soldano? I don't always own a Soldano, so I don't know. But it, for me, it sounded amazing every gig I played it at this year. And check these out if you have a chance. Just a great main pedal to put on your pedal board for an overdrive. Um, and it's high gain, so if you're into the high gain thing too, you're really gonna like this pedal. Number five. All right, guys, number six of the gear I utilized the most this year that I really actually used and loved, and this one actually is a new product that I got this year, and you guys have probably saw the review if you follow the channel, but it is the Blackstar Amped One. This thing is a must-have for gigging musicians. It just really checks all the boxes. It's like the Swiss, Swiss Army Knife of pedal board amps, 100 watts. You can fit it in a small carry bag. You could fit on an airplane, really, if you wanted to. And it basically does everything, has 
a bunch of different tube responses in it. it has IRs if you're going to run it direct from a house or record with it. Um, but what's nice about it is it's so small and so light that I just had to carry a small cab with me that wasn't very heavy at all. Instead of a heavy amplifier, I just had this thing and my cabs. And it basically does all the USA amp style stuff, UK. You can also run modelers into this thing. And it just really does everything that you want it to do. Um, the only downside to it uh, is that the XLR out is on this side of the pedal board. And if you're a guitar player, you know that you want... <laughs> <laughs> you want this side to be the last side of the chain. So if you're running pedals into this and going out, you want it to be on that side. I don't know if they just didn't engineer that right or if it was just uh, someone forgot, but that's the only downside to this. Other than that, this thing has been a great thing and I'll, I'm gonna continue to use this and it's actually gonna be, um, I'm, I'm gonna build a pedal board around this uh, pedal board amp. So you see that next year when I do that. All right, guys, number seven is the product I probably utilized the most, most of this year, and just probably the most uh, cost-effective way to get good sounds on a budget. It's portable, very portable, very light, and just does everything you need it to do. It's a good pedal platform, as well as recording and effects, if you're into that side of it. But it is the, of course, Boss Katana, this is my Mark I. I'm still using this, you guys, and it still sounds as good as ever. I use this as a pedal platform amp to play in the clubs, which is a lot of what I do, or small, really small, small venues. And it's just a grab and go, it's so light. It's grab and go amp, and it sounds amazing. All these items are stuff I utilized this year. Are there pieces of gear that I maybe like a little better that I have didn't utilize this year? Yes, probably, there's probably my Princeton uh, real tube amp. Um, I've got a bunch of real tube amp stuff that I've used in the studio. I just haven't taken it out live a ton. These are the things I actually use this year. If you're interested in this, any of this stuff, I'll put some links down in the description. These are my top seven picks for this year for being the gear that I utilize the most. Not, not all of it's brand new or was released this year, but uh, most of it is stuff you can find still on the market today and it's worth every penny because it's just great tools for musicians. All right, so I wanted to give away four Azor Reverb pedals, you guys. If you have not seen the Azor Reverb or if you're new to the channel, uh, this is what it looks like. And it's just a, like a small spring reverb type pedal, it's brown. Not the best looking pedal in the world, but it's a great sounding spring reverb. And all you have to do to get one of these is email me at this email at this email address right here. And uh, I will pick four lucky winners and ship out four pedals, uh, hopefully within the next week or so. And so if you don't get something, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna randomly kind of pick from the emails I get. So email me, you have to be a subscriber. I will check uh, subscriber to my channel and at least comment below. So a comment on this video, what's your favorite gear of the year and subscribe and send me an email to this email address. You guys, I hope you guys have a great holiday season. I'm Rich Bischoff. If you're new to the channel, thanks for watching and thanks for the support. I'm trying to hit 20 subscribers. So if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please just hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And we will see you possibly in the new year. I might do another video before the new year, but I don't, I'm not sure yet, uh, but we'll see you guys later. Adios. Mm -hmm.